Right then guys, so uh, beginner fisherman here. Just let to this car go past. Right then guys, so this is a bit of a uh, different video today. Um, as you can see, it's a bit of a different video. We're gonna be having a recce. Gonna be having, having a walk around showing you basically where I'll go fishing, so when I get there, I will show you. So when we get there, we'll be right back. So, as you can see, this is the, uh, this bit here, as you can see, is the pill, but as you can see, I can't go fishing at the moment because we've got the heavy floods. As you can see, it's like a lake. It is literally like a lake. So, there's no chance we're going to be able to fish it. I mean, this is as close as I'm getting, because I'm staying on dry, which is the grass. But, as you guys can see, you probably guys are not going to see, but, but you cannot tell where the river starts. Literally, it's that flooded. And you can tell with the river there, but... I mean, you wouldn't know where the bank is to where to fish, because literally, that's where river runs round, and it's right over flooded, right across the field, right across into the second field. You can see there, the overhanging tree up in there, and that's slack. You probably guys are not gonna quite see that, but it's usually a slack there, but it's running through at some pace today. But over there, you'll likely find your chub, perch, well any fish really, that's a, likes, likes a bit of cover, any fish likes a bit of cover, but right over the back there, as you can see where those reeds are, somewhere, somewhere is the bank, but you guys are not going to be able to see it because I can't see it, but somewhere over there and around the corner beyond, the, beyond those trees is a place called Perch's Pool, then right at the back, right at the far side as you can you guys are probably not going to be able to make out that bridge but right across the back there's a long straight that runs right along the back there runs right along the right along the back it's a nice steady flow over there actually ideal place for you beginners to start trotting the float but when i can get across there i can show you but, <laughs> but as you can see i shan't be going across that dry anyhow. I wouldn't want to go any further. I'm sticking safe options here. And one tip I'm going to say for you beginners is when it's like this, don't even attempt to go out. Don't go and fish because it's not safe. Literally guys, it is not safe whatsoever. As you can see, this is, this is give you a fuller wide view version of it look at that you can't you tell me where the river starts you ain't gonna be able to tell as you guys can see yeah you will be able to see from this side so you see where that you see where that tree over there not sure if he's gonna focus but you see where my finger is pointing, you see that tree poking up out of water? Not sure if you guys are going to be able to see that. I literally can't get any closer, but... But anyhow, that there is called Perch's Pool. Now, um, that's ideal because it runs on a bend, and there's a slack on the bend, so it's ideal there, in that position there, you know, your idea to catch you know, catch a perch, that's hence the name Perch's Pole. But, you know, you ledger there with a feeder rod in the slack, you know, maggots on a maggot feeder. You have no trouble at all trying to catch something. And over there, you can see the, well, you can just make out the bridge. You walk across. At the back there, you see where all those lumps of trees are? Right at the back, that's the, called the horseshoe. But as you can see, I'm not even going to attempt to walk across there. Um, 
and apologize about the noise there is a chainsaw going on in the background vroom 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 there's a nice little vroom vroom with the chainsaw it's straight ahead straight ahead of me that's over there is that deep large pool right on that corner with a long straight but as you can see by the flooded water I am not going over but basically this is the first part where we fish that as you can see look at the flow there look at where it's pushed out right across the field I wouldn't even even if I had waders I wouldn't be getting in there I can tell you so you, you basically for you beginners where you want to be looking to fish is your ideal spots your bends your overhanging trees and especially this time of year you know the flow is going to be high you're going to get the flood so you're not going to be able to fish as much or right, every river is different but but um but for beginners this time of year if you haven't float fish trotted the river you want to find a nice slow piece like the backwater for example the backwater is ideal where there's not so much flow that's where you want to start float fishing especially in the winter but i prefer feeder fishing in the winter just because just because the flow can be very fast and especially if you're not used to trotting the float you know it's it's the best place it's the best place to start is on the tip there for you guys um but right we'll head on to the second bit right guys so that is the first bit We'll head on to the second part now to show you where else we go fishing. And we'll talk about what species are in, in this river as well. So, um, we'll, when we get there guys, we'll see you there. Right then guys, so you join me at the uh, second part of the, um, of the Windrush. You join me here. Um, now basically, we're... Uh, this is the basic second part. Obviously, I can't get across the field as it is so literally, it is literally flooded at the moment. Um, now, there's some old boy over there fishing at the moment. I mean, he's mad. But... So, as you can see, this is the second part. I'm not sure if you guys are going to be able to see that old boy fishing over there, but this is the second part. As you can see, the uh, car park is flooded at the moment. But this is a nice long, this is a nice long straight here, you know, as you can see runs all the way along along the back there down the side all the way along but as you can see I will not be walking across there because it's in flood but um, but so basically the species you're gonna catch in the river is here yeah, like any river you're gonna catch roach chub dace gudgeon perch grayling so hopefully, this is the second part, like I say, this is where we go fishing. Normally, as you can see there, like you've got all these trees here. Now this is ideal here. All these under overhanging trees, you know, there's ideally going to be perch in there, let up chub. You know, it's just a good holding ground. There's a nice, there's a nice few slacks up there along the side where you can catch your feeder rod too. You know, but um, yeah, the reason why I can't fish, like I say at the moment, Sorry about the car noise. But people you see nowadays don't seem to read the signs, does it? It clearly says flooded. And they go and drive up. But there you go, you can't tell some people. But um yeah. Right, we'll move on. As you can see, I've i I've, I've personally never seen as much water as this. Look at the flow on that. Look at that, it's coming right over the side. You're probably not going to see that, but all over by those trees down the bottom there. That's a sewage works there, but there's a good sewer hole down the bottom where it comes right into a slack. But as you can see, I'm not going to attempt to be going across there as it is flooded at the moment. But if you can sort of get the pattern, the river runs all the way down into a stream and comes back out into the main flow over there and goes all the way round there now you can't fish this side because that's private so I don't know who owns that but I know it's private so I know you can't fish there but um but, but basically this is where I do go fishing normally 
when it's right guys so uh, that's uh, pretty much yeah it's pretty much it for the video a little short detour to show you basically where I go fishing um, so hopefully you guys enjoyed that and uh, yeah we'll catch you guys in the next video so we'll see you later